Hi guys, I'm back at Curb Boutique and I brought some friends with me. I have my BFF and sister, Kelly Cohen, and we brought Ted with us. He's our special guest. He won't be talking, he'll just be sitting here pretty. And normally I am the one asking questions, but today I will be answering them. And our topic is going to be about how I changed my career from working in the government to working in fashion. It's gonna be very exciting. So I'm so glad to have you here, sis. I'm excited to be here, but before we get started, you forgot to introduce yourself. This is Sam Lowry, oh. my best friend and sister when we're out and about. Um, she is a stylist. She works at Rent the Runway and Current Boutique, and she wasn't always looking as good and doing fashion. She worked in the government. Um, but before we get into that transition, we're gonna talk about how we met. So let's yes. go back two summers ago when I was trying to look super fly for an event and I was stressed about a boy. And I walked into my appointment at Rent the Runway in Georgetown, go check it out if you need to look pretty too. And then what happened? So <laughs> I, you know, go out into the showroom and I'm like, Kelly? <laughs> and this cute little face pops up and I'm like, oh, this will be fun. We're like the same age. So we get to talking and Immediately, like once you're talking to someone about like your body and your style and you're really getting into intimate details, yes. you start to like find like things. We found out we like going to the same clubs. Oh gosh. We like Not the anymore. same <laughs> we had the same taste in men and we um I'm just, still single. She is. Hit her up. <laughs> um and so we found out we had a lot of general interest and we yeah. exchanged phone numbers and now two years later we live like a block away from yeah. each other and saves Uber money when you live next to the person you hang out with every day. And she has a <laughs> key to our house to come pick up Ted whenever sure. she wants to. So <laughs> Okay, so before we met, let's dial it back a few years before that. You were working at the government. I'm a journalist, I work in politics, I know kind of what the government lifestyle is like. Um, so you were over at the State Department, and then tell me what happened when you just realized one day, wait a second, what's happening? Yeah, I had one of those, like, whoa moments. Um, it's called an epiphany. An, a <laughs> solid epiphany. Now I know. It's only yeah. taken me four years to figure out what happened. So I did my undergrad degree in economics, and while I was doing that, I entered into the State Department's Pathways Program. Thanks, Obama. <laughs> and I was working there and going to school, and one summer I just was like, I like getting dressed, I like clothes. I went and worked at anthropology and realized, wow, like this is something I wanna do. I always wanted to be in the fitting room, I always wanted to be styling people. So I did that over the summer, and as the summer ended, my internship was ending, and per usual, as like security clearance goes, it was taking way too long, and they were like, well, if you don't go back to school in three days, you don't have a job anymore. And I was like, well, I was looking at fashion school anyway. It's so cool. So I, you know, went down to my alma mater and was like, sign me up. And then I was the State Department's first intern enrolled in fashion school, probably only ever. And yeah. as I was sitting up, I loved fashion school so much. And I was like, let me get another part-time job. So I was sitting at my desk and I was like, bless you, bless you. Oh my God, it's the cutest thing ever. I was sitting at my desk and I decided, I just literally Googled fashion jobs in DC and Rent the Runway popped up and I was like, that would be awesome because I knew what the company was. Right. And I was like, that'd be such a cool part-time job because I thought maybe I could transition it into a full-time job. No. I went to my interview, they loved me, and they offered me a full-time position, and then two weeks later, on Veterans Day, I was oh. down in Georgetown starting as a fashion stylist, and it was just an amazing feeling. It was really scary, but the nerves are good. Ner being nervous is a yeah. good thing. It means you care. It means you're passionate. Obviously, mm -hmm. if you walk in to the first day at a job and you kind of just look around, it means you don't care, you don't... You know, it's not, it's not something right. you actually want to do. So you started, what was your position when you first started at Rent the Runway? I was a sales associate, right. and now, uh, two and a half years later, I am the senior stylist. I was about to say, so tell me what you're doing now. you got Rent the Runway, you have Current Boutique, and you also have your kind of like side gig, freelance, that kind of thing going, and helping me get dressed. Oh, yes. Going on. She comes <laughs> over on a regular basis and is like, okay, let's go to the closet. Yeah, I don't I, even try anymore. She hooks me up. So yeah, tell yeah. me about what you're doing today. So as of now, I'm the senior stylist in Georgetown, and I also am working at Current Boutique, which is amazing. My bank account hates it, but I love it. The 14th Street one. Yes, 14th so and S. 14th. 
cross some chicken and whiskey after I dress you. So at Rent the Runway, I do. It's more corporate, so it's very structured. There's appointments. You want me to take them? Yeah. There's appointments, and you walk in, and it's very structured. And at Current, I really, um, I've owned in, and I'm myself. Like, I'm on the floor. Kim literally pays me to talk to people, and it's so awesome. I love it. I just get to be like, this dress is new. It's awesome. Come try it on. And I get to walk around, and I get to look at beautiful clothes. And I love working for two female-owned companies staffed by females who work with females. So I never had yeah. sisters, so this is like <laughs> my dream. And I Women get to supporting just, women. Exactly. Yeah. And that is what we need more of is – no one tearing each other down out here making all the women in DC beautiful on a seven days a week basis yeah. right now, which is, it's not, I, I love it and I'm not tired and I just keep doing it. Yeah. And about what, a year and a half ago, I launched uh, my website because Instagram is more my business card. Like I don't put a ton of stuff on there and I delete things because <laughs> once you get the likes you're gonna get, you can delete it. And so <laughs> I put, um, I launched my website. There's a few blog posts. I blog when I'm really feeling passionate about something, but <laughs> more of it is just like my portfolio so I can have something official. I'm so technologically awful but Squarespace <laughs> shout out to you guys to this is not an ad Squarespace <laughs> is awesome I've only like deleted a whole blog post one time and that's like really good for me so what is the website it's www dot obviously sam com. when I decided to launch my website I wanted to make everything consistent so my email address for work is sam r lowry my instagram is sam r lowry and my website is sam r lowry i should probably just name the company sam r lowry her passwords to her bank accounts are also sam, sam r lowry, lowry. Yeah. no okay so you know you talk about leaving the government and going into fashion how completely different they are how did your life change obviously you're not doing nine to five anymore but you're also it's just completely different world there's one thing to you know send a report to someone in the government it's another thing you know when someone comes in crying because you know they're dress ripped and they have a wedding in two hours you know how did that yes. life change it was a complete lifestyle change i already dressed really funky when i was at the <laughs> government my boss would be like you have to go to main state today and i would like whip out the pencil skirt <laughs> and a blazer right? in a blazer yeah i have my cute little black h&m blazer but i would wear like <laughs> I, I would wear maxi dresses with like ankle booties and a leather jacket and she like loved it she knew i loved fashion but it was a nine to five. It was like, I'm doing the same routine every single day. I'm going to the same office. And I would sit in my office sometimes and not talk to anybody. And <laughs> obviously that's, I love talking. I could talk all day. Um, so I was just doing the same thing. I was dressing extremely conservative. I wanted to fit in. I was an intern. I wanted people to, you know, I wanted to like, I thought that was my career. And then when I did the switch, working in fashion and retail is like, you will open one day at 9.30 in the morning and then you'll close the next day at 9.30 at night. Like my hours got shifted, but I actually kind of liked it because I would like randomly have a Tuesday off and mm -hmm. no one's at the bank on Tuesday, no one's at the grocery <laughs> store on Tuesday, yeah. no one's at the mall on Tuesday. Right. I had like the whole city to myself because everyone's at work. Right. So mm -hmm. it was a huge change. I got to And you were just happier. Oh my God. So I found my calling and I feel like nothing, like everything happens for a reason. And I, I was security clearance didn't go through for a reason. Like I had issues It all like came full circle and none of it was difficult. Like I didn't have to force things to happen. They just kind of, I was in the right place at the right time. I was, I was fully myself and I went into it all with confidence. I was so scared, but confidence was key yeah. at that. When you know what you want to do and you know that you're going to love it, that it shines. It's just like you're, like when you're passionate it means you care and when yeah. you're nervous it means you care and those are all good things so Very good. you were talking about your little pencil skirt um <laughs> let, which i would die if i saw you in a pencil skirt now <laughs> but let's talk about how you stay you know creative and inspired especially in a world you know that gets swept up in trends like i'm wearing vans right now and i wore those when i was 12 and that's a trend right now but you know sometimes trends are fun sometimes it's you know you look like every other blogger on an instagram or you look like everyone else walking through georgetown how do you kind of just stay inspired and not get into like a rut with fashion? Well, no shade. I <laughs> avoid Lily Pulitzer, Tory Burch. <laughs> but the good thing is if you like those things, they sell them at Current Boutique. We got a ton of it. Um, so creativity wise, like clothing wise, 
I know, shout out to Juliana at the Bethesda location. She put it, she told me one day, she's like, I never know what you're going to show up in. Like, one day yeah. you're like, I'll wear, I'll steal my boyfriend's sweatpants, throw heels on with a bodysuit and, like, braid my hair. Or, like, one day I'll have on another tint dress. <laughs> and I love, like, I love yeah. being a chameleon and being able to wear things. So, like, clothing-wise, the problem is I like too much. Mm. So I always want to buy everything. My closet can't handle that because we yeah. live in D.C. But creativity-wise for, like, photo shoots and clothing, I do a lot of research. I follow tons of people on Instagram. They don't follow me back, but <laughs> I don't care. You um, gotta like. You gotta throw them a like every once in a while. I do. So they know you're there. I always like people's stuff. You just gotta like it at a weird hour. Just <laughs> do, like, 19 likes in a row at, like, 1.30 a.m. Okay. okay. There you go, guys. Some free Instagram tips. I so finger guns. <laughs> so creativity wise I really just I look at what other people are doing I follow a lot of photographers right. I follow a lot of bloggers and not that I'm like following you to not do what you do but I also want to see like I don't want to like pick up Bo because clearly I'm not going to go out buy Margiela <laughs> shoes but like I Someday. just I pick up things and I'm inspired by like architecture I'm inspired by DC has the best walls. I feel inspired. like you're inspired by moods too. Like, oh. you, like it's like a you can make a. I feel like when sometimes you get dressed, it's like a mood. All right, we're gonna let Ted go. Yeah, go Ted. <laughs> yeah, like my I'm an Aries, so we're extremely emotional, and my emotions like drive kind of who I am and how I feel. If you see me in an unmatching outfit and like old navy flip flops, please just like call the ambulance. Me. Honestly, just call me. I'll come find her. Call like <laughs> I don't even know, know like. But you can definitely catch me in, like, some Supreme sweatpants with a fur coat on in the grocery store. I definitely do that. But, like, yeah. I love to just, like, just test the waters and yeah. really just do things That's, that yeah. I feel good. Because you don't want to look like, I mean, everybody else. Everybody else. Yeah. Um, so, why don't we were talking about, you know, the pencil skirt and, like, not looking boring at work. And I get that sometimes working in journalism. You sometimes really need to look really nice but sometimes I at least I know I like to push the envelope a little bit like I really do like culottes is that how you pronounce it culottes culottes love culottes every time I rock a culotte on Capitol Hill I get at least six compliments and they're like those pants I'm like I they're just flowy things like I don't even so I know and I struggle a lot sometimes you know as someone that likes sort of jeans and I really like crop tops just making sure that I look professional for work but also not looking like I'm just in a pencil skirt and a blazer so behind us we have some really cool options of what I think you said what we should wear, what we shouldn't wear, kind of. Right. So I kind of did my picks based on, I had to do, like, separate my brain. I had to be like, what does Sam wear now that's super fun that I know I could never get away with at the government? But also I chose items that, like, if you're working in a more conservative environment but you still want to, like, show your personality and be funky. And uh, clearly I like <laughs> prints. And yeah. color. It's, it's summer. You gotta like look a little bright because in winter you just want to wear all black. <laughs> right. And I wear all, and I have to wear Same. black and white to work. So I try to like wear the most outrageous things. If you come to Curry, you'll see me and like I look like rainbow bright. <laughs> it's really fun though. It gets people's attention. So I pulled a lot of like of the more classic silhouettes for work, but then with like fun prints because then you could do like a basic. Right. Tea. Like, this is super cute. If I was going to yeah. work, if I had a regular 9 to 5 or but not, this is a cute tea length. This would be in, like, a white, a white t-shirt. This is Mother of Pearl. I love them. Their brand runs a little small, though, so it doesn't make me feel good about myself, but I feel <laughs> good in their clothes. Honestly, I would get a white button-up, tuck it say, in, yeah. and throw these Alice and Olivia booties on with it and just, like, yeah, be, live out my flower child rock star dreams. This and is something I like. This is something if I wore this skirt, you know, it's conservative. If I wore a button down, if I'm over on Capitol Hill, you actually can't show your shoulders in the speaker's lobby of Capitol Hill. They're changing that. But, you know, if I wore the white button down, perfect and, and still trendy. And like I still have these killer shoes on. And even now in summer, I could get away with probably wearing, if I wasn't on the hill, I could wear, you know, like a longer right. white tee, tuck in, right. maybe even flats to keep it chill. And so the little bit of black and white came out in me, but I thought this. Little pen. This is like that a full pencil of a little. skirt. Very yeah. little. It's like a Thanks, size ALC. Yeah. I'm not sure who fits into this, but I thought the stripes would be a little bit of a fun mix-up. I feel like you. This would be super fashion. This gives me like I work at Vogue vibes. 
Like, um, yeah. it's very, very chic. ALC is just a great company. Um, so you could do like, I'm trying to think, like a chambray to keep it easy. Super chambray. Oh my God, the chambray, you could wear your Vans with it. Yeah. You throw on one of those like Rebecca Minkoff like backpacks and Perfect. it'd be very like downtown cool. So you can make all these things work for government or work mm -hmm. for, you know. This is what I really loved. I love this. Like this even goes with the booties too. Clearly I was onto something at my house the other day. Look how fun that is. This is a Missoni, which I die for Missoni. You know it's Missoni because you know it's Missoni. Yeah, you know this. And this has pockets, so it, whether I would be styling, I can put things in my pockets. Yeah. Or if I was at work, I could have my cell phone. And this is just a long cardigan. You could wear this open. Like, I think casual Fridays, I would do like, I would do all white under this with the Alice and Olivia's. I'd do like a white, yeah. like, v white plain v neck, white jeans. Throw this on. I was about to say, I would wear this even like, I'm just talking about myself I could see we myself on Capitol Hill wearing this with maybe even like a white button up all the way up mm. tucked into just jeans yeah and then this over it on like a fall day over on Capitol Hill and you're Done. killing it I would even just be ballsy enough to put a slip under it wear it as a dress I could okay. do that in my dress. life you knew you know I do this in my day-to-day -day life so a few things that you cannot wear talk yeah because <laughs> you you think it's like 110 degrees out I'm sweating can I wear this to work yeah you wish <laughs> if you work in fashion, aka current boutique is hiring, you can wear this. I love this little ruffle because it's just like fun to have a ruffle. Flattering, yeah. And then the high low is like breathable, it shows off your shoes. Like this is a really fun dress. Oh, Talani makes it. Mm -hmm. I love it. It's just a cute, colorful, bright pattern. And this is something that working in fashion you can wear. Working in the government. I feel like strapless is just awkward with a blazer yeah. over it. It just means like you really wanted this to happen and, and you knew it wasn't. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Here we can do one more strapless ruffle. I guess you like I the strapless ruffle. I have a thing ruffle. going on, obviously. It's Rebecca Taylor. Super cute. This, um, I would belt this. Yeah. Once again, you can throw the Alice and Olivia boots on with it. And I loved this. One piece, if you want to put that back for me. Also, shout out to Gossip Girl. I saw this on the website. Blair Waldorf wore this Jay Godfrey dress, and this would be uh, this would be pushing the limits in like you know a more professional setting. But it does have the drop waist. It is a higher end material, and then the cute. I actually wanted these to go together, so I'm really happy. And I love this look. This would be fun for like if you worked in PR or marketing, yeah. even a more relaxed government agency. I don't really know what's going on in the government right now because they don't work there, but this would be cute. And look, they're on these Ferragamos, and you've got a really hip outfit, yeah. all from current boutique. And everything's online. covered and like proper. You're not showing cleavage. You're not showing shoulders. Right. Yeah. So these little boys, I'm obsessed. I was like. I wish I was that girl that could wear stilettos. Like, I love this style. These are Burberry. They're a size 37 and a half, so if that's you, you need to buy these. They have this yeah, black was... jeweled detail, the, the gold detail, sorry. I'm so mesmerized by these shoes. And they have this gold pump. They're not too high, so they'd still be appropriate at work with, like, I would do black cigarette pants. I would do an all-black outfit yeah. and be like, oh, Just let the gold speak at the bottom. Yeah. And these are amazing. I yeah, love these. these. I want to be this girl. Mm -hmm. I'm not. But <laughs> so I mean, fine. do we want to go over these picks or are we good? I think we're good. Yeah. I just wear pattern. Have it yeah. up. If your boss says something, then like alter your style. But this is a way to still like, this is kind of what my wardrobe did look like. There are a lot of do's and don'ts, but if you can get away with it, then kind of push the limit. Yeah. People will remember you. Exactly. All right. So I think we're about to wrap up. So I will close out and then we'll let the guest of honor close out about info. Um, once again, I'm Kelly Cohen. You can follow me on Instagram. It is K Coco Loco. My nickname is Coco. So it's K C O C O and then Loco L O C O. Or you can also follow me on Twitter, Politico. So it's Politicoen. So it's basically like Politico and then C-O-H-E-N underscore. Um, or if you just look up Kelly Cohen, K-E-L-O-Y, you'll find me. Um, I do journals awesome. and things. So if you like politics, follow me. I know we all don't. And then I will let her sign us out for the night. Thank you so much for being yeah, here. I wouldn't I'm have glad. wanted anybody else to do this. Next who time can, Ted can ask the questions. Who can resist three blondes? <laughs> and then one behind the camera. So I'm Sam at Sam R. Lowry. If you've been following Current Boutique, 
they like made me feel famous. My Instagram handle will be down there. And then this is Ted at Ted and D City, like in DC, itty. So at Ted and D City, um, I tag him on a lot of my stories. He's got the cutest Instagram. Follow him before you follow me, because <laughs> my page is public, so you can always see me. But Ted's super cute. He'll tell you you're pretty and comment on your photos. So we, um, I just want to let you guys know all these items are available at Current Boutique. I'm available at Current Boutique on 14th on 14th Street, <laughs> and also at Rent the Runway. Yeah, once in a while. Yeah, I just am all over the city. Come, I'll dress you. And That's it's my last plug is if you do not know how to dress, seriously go see her. She's great. She knows what to wear. If you need your closet torn out because it's summer and you're like, I'm over all my clothes. I hate what I have. She'll help you out. She'll <laughs> take you shopping. She's really good at fashion and let me spend your money. <laughs> All right. Bye, guys. Have a good Thursday night.